on your windows pc laptop if you bring up the task manager and from the left hand side if you click on performance so in the cpu on the right hand corner where it says process thread and handle count you will find the number displayed here is too high which means a lot of application and feature process are running on your machine eating your cpu and ram resources due to which you are not getting the proper performance fps and you might have the lagging problem first you will have to disable all kind of startup application and even i would recommend you to uninstall the bloatware from your device so right click on windows icon again bring up the task manager from the left hand side you will have to click on startup applications and here it will list you all kind of third party application like microsoft team phone link 365 copilot steam discord these are the third party application you don't need them that it should start along with the computer along with the windows so what we can do on the right of it whichever has been enabled right click on it choose disable onedrive i don't need it when i need i can manually open it i can disable it as well click on windows search click on settings from the left hand side click on apps click on installed apps and it will list you all kind of third party application along with the bloatware like the feedback hub microsoft 365 copilot microsoft bing microsoft clipchamp microsoft team microsoft to do news weather nobody use it nobody need it but they still are running on a computer occupying the space and the most important part they eat your cpu and the ram resources which we really don't want so scroll down look for all these application here all kind of bloatware like news and weather whichever you don't need go ahead and uninstall them let me do it very quickly here all right so now i have just uninstalled all those bloatware and application that i really don't need and you also need to do the same look for the application whichever you don't need just click on the three dot and choose uninstall next here in the settings only from the left hand side you will have to click on privacy and security and disable all these windows and application unwanted permission like recommendation and offer you will have to disable all of them these are basically doing the advertisement and telemetry we really don't want it do the same with inking and typing personalization disable that diagnostic and feedback disable it then in the app permission disable all these locations and other kind of work like camera if you are not using the camera disable it then you have many more things like contacts nobody is using any kind of contacts here so i will also disable it notifications i will disable the notifications and so on look for everything here like the radios as well nobody is using the radio so i will disable it and after this we have to disable all kind of unwanted services very important you will have to click on windows search type services click on services here from the suggestion and this will display all kind of services here so you will have to look for the one that you are not using for example if you are not using the bitlocker drive encryption that is used to encrypt your drive on your windows 11 or windows 10 then you can go ahead and disable it Choose the startup type to disable, stop the service, click on apply and click on ok. Now keep in mind you don't have to disable any service that probably you are using like bluetooth. If you disable it, you will not be able to use the bluetooth. Next you have connected user and experience and telemetry. Again very recommended that you go ahead and disable it. Stop the service, click on apply and click on ok. Next is print spooler, so press the P key, look for print spooler if you are not using the printer. Go ahead and disable it. Look for windows error reporting service. So come to the W section, look for Windows Error Reporting Service. Here it is. Disable it. Stop it. Click on OK. Parental control. Again, if you are not using, then go ahead and disable it. Click on Stop. Click on OK. Download Maps Manager. Again, if you are not using the map on it, go ahead and disable it. Remote Desktop Service. So you can come to the Remote section. Remote Desktop Service here. Make a double click on it and choose it to Disable. Stop it. Click on Apply and click on OK. I would also recommend you to disable the windows search that eat a lot of resources. This I would only recommend to the people who have the high problem of lagging and they really need a very good performance then for that you can disable the windows search as well. Also look for windows mobile hotspot service if you are not using the hotspot. Open it, choose it to disable, click on stop, click on apply. I have also created a dedicated video on this topic and if you want to check out that what all other services that you can safely disable you can check that video. Alright now let's move with the last step where you have to disable all the unwanted animation. You click on windows search type sysdm.cpl 
and hit the enter key this will bring up the system properties click on advanced under performance click on settings and it will be selected to let windows choose what best for my computer you have to choose adjust best for my performance and enable only the required animation like animate windows and minimizing and maximizing enable peak show thumbnail instead of icon and smooth edges of screen font click apply click ok and that's it now if you go ahead and restart the computer you will find the huge difference and notice the process the handle count are been reduced now let me show you once the computer gets restarted okay so the computer has been restarted now this time if i bring up the task manager and go to the performance so bingo guys now you can see the process count here earlier it was around 168 if you remember i will even show you the process count from 168 it's been come to 125 the thread that was around 2200 now it's been around 1800 the handle count that was around 69 to 70,000. Now it's came to around 46,000. So you saw that by applying three to four simple steps, you have made a drastic change now. And this will be helping in your performance and fix many kind of lagging issues and even help in your FPS boost while gaming. So that's all guys for today. And if you really like the video, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.